Welcome back to Conversations with Kendall. I am your host, Kendall Ficklin. This is the Parent Edition. I definitely know what it is. I remember when my first child was born, going through that whole process and looking at that whole day and just remembering, wow, they came out. And then they get, then they arrive and they get to this point where we hold them in the arms and they're just so warm and cuddly. And you know, it's at that point where you could just take their little feet and put their feet in them in your mouth and then they grow up and they're changing and they're going through their process and they're changing, but we are not changing as parents. We're still loving them. We're still parenting them the same way we were doing it when they were babies. We're still um, enabling them and not engaging with them. And the problem with that is we're not allowing them to grow unhindered. It's almost like when they first started walking, remember at that point when they first started walking and they would fall. And instinctively we try to run and pick them up and then we would stop because they would start to pick themselves up. But it's so, it's like that with their whole life. They're going through life and we're stopping them from making mistakes. We're stopping them from learning. And the, the best way to learn is to fall, is to fail, so you can get back up. It does a few things. It allows you to go through life learning how to lose so you can begin to win. i say that one again. The best way to go through life is to learn how to lose so you can begin to win. The failures that we're gonna go through in life is really only feedback to help us fight our future fears. The failures that we go through is just feedback and it's gonna help us fight our future fears. It's like the story we all hear about lying in the gazelle. And they say every day in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it has to run faster than the fastest lion before it gets eaten. And every day a lion wakes up and it has to run faster than the slowest gazelle so that it can eat. Each one is waking up running. One of them is running to something and one of them is running from something. Now think about this from a parenting perspective. That gazelle is taught and trained early on. And when you out there in the field and you grazing and you eating, you better stay on guard because there's a lion coming after you. Now imagine if that gazelle didn't listen to mom, or didn't listen to, to pop gazelle and was out there in the field grazing and didn't pay attention, just wanted to do what they wanted to do and this lion come up and just <clears throat> devour it. But see, it's just a part of the process. It's a part of teaching, it's a part of training. When that gazelle is growing up and the parent, and it's watching his parents out there running from the lion, you better believe that it's learning. And the parents are not so emotional where they're like, okay, baby, don't go out in the field and graze today. Don't go eat today because there's a lion that's gonna eat you up. No, they teach and train the gazelle how to run and just say, man, good luck out there. But they don't say don't go. They don't say run from life. They don't say don't go eat. They don't say don't go graze. They don't say don't live life. They have to live life. They have to learn how to fail. They have to learn how to lose so they can begin to win. I got a call from a mom last week and she was saying to me how uh, Kendall, you know, he's just not listening to me. He's not doing anything that I tell him. And I told mom, I said, you tripping because you think he's supposed to do everything that you tell him to do because you just want him to be everything that you want him to be. All we need to worry about is dropping seeds. All we need to worry about is teaching and training. We have to come up away from worrying about what they do with what we give them. Just put it in there. At the proper time, it's gonna come. At the right time, it's gonna manifest. So we drop the seed. Somebody else may come along and put some water on that seed. Somebody else may come along and put a little sunlight on that seed. Somebody else will come along and put a little more water on that seed. It can be a process of one year, two years. It could be a day. But we are not, as parents, we shouldn't be trying to put a timetable on their process or even our process. In our process, in this part of the process as parents, our job is to be patient during the process. We have to stop being concerned about what they're doing and be more concerned about who we're being. And we get, when we get more concerned about who we're being and we can take our parenting to another level of love, we can take our parenting to that next level of love. Each level, we're supposed to get better and better. So at that first level, it's an emotional attachment. At that second level, we have to teach and train. And then at that third level, it's about engaging 
with them in the process and then it's a great relationship. Thank you for listening. Share this with somebody that you know needs it, that you know could use it. And we'll see you next week. Thank you again.